Hey guys, Books Nelson here with a pro dribble style tutorial. We're gonna get straight into the content. There are a lot of important details, even though it seems simple, it's just the dribble style. There's a lot you can get out of it. Ty Debo has been lying to you guys for months and I haven't seen anyone come out with the pitchforks and the torches to stop him from doing it. And here I am, love Ty Debo, big fan, but he is absolutely dead wrong about this. So. First things first, before we get into this tutorial, is it important? It is important to point out the differences between my team and my career. Number one, in my career, you have a ton of stamina. In my team, you have very little stamina. You guys don't have access to two Gator, extra Gatorade boosts. So the cards get tired much faster than you would on a my career character, so you have to be more efficient. Number two, in my career, you get to pick your SIGs. In my team, you do not. You have to make the best of the SIGs that are on every card. Number three, in my career, you are limited in your height and your attributes. And in my team, you are not capped in height and attributes. All of these things mean that however powerful a move is in my career, it might be more or less powerful depending on the situation in my team. So that having been said, I'm gonna describe the pro dribble style, how to use it in its rawest form, and then I'm gonna give you guys some examples on how it varies in effectiveness from card to card. So we're gonna start right now. So first and foremost, the pro dribble style, it has one overwhelming strength and then a bunch of weaknesses that you do not have to engage with. Weaknesses first, same side, not terribly fast, going to the same direction, not so slow that you're not moving with the card, but not particularly good, right? Push cross, very slow, it has a big hesitation in it that's very easy to catch up to. Uh, not particularly useful, you're really just gonna be getting that by accident. What's great about the dribble style? This right here, this is the magic. All you need is this move and you can get cooking. So let's describe this move, how to learn it, and how to apply it to become a better scorer with every card that has it. So first things first, the most basic version of the move is while your shoulders are totally aligned with the basket, and that's an important detail, shoulder alignment. Your shoulders are aligned with the basket, you are going backwards down diagonal to the off ball hand based on your character positioning. So while I'm straight forward, this is between four and five o'clock, going that way, and seven and eight o'clock, going that way. However, if I go over here, my shoulders are aligned differently. So this is gonna be closer to five o'clock and closer to, with the other hand, closer to like two o'clock, right? And then the same thing over here, it's gonna be more like six o'clock and between one and two o'clock, you would think it would be like 12 o'clock, but it's not quite 12 o'clock. It's like 12-ish, you know, close to 12 o'clock. But depending on how close you are to this corner, you have to lean a little towards one o'clock. And then it'll be the opposite on the other side of it. Okay, so that's just how to execute the move. Secondly, how to get good at executing the move. So even though the move is simple, you're holding turbo and you go into that opposite ball hand, uh, you have to be good enough with the left stick to move in this small space right here. Otherwise, you're not getting the most out of the move, right? So we're gonna get into the scoring options out of this move after this, but understand that having this level of control over it is really important and you wanna get that all around the perimeter, right? Okay, so now we're gonna talk about how this move is different on a card by card basis. So for Jokic, he gives two really great examples of how individual SIGs makes pro dribble style better. So keeping it with the dribbling, the Dwayne Wade size up. So he's got the Dwayne Wade size up, which has these really efficient close to the body crossovers. Each of these can link into this pro dribble style very quickly, right? And so Jokic can really move on the court because you can combine that and just left, right, you know, back and forth in a lot of ways. Now there's a pitfall here that I have to warn you guys about. So this is, and this again goes into being, you know, good at executing this. So the Dwayne Wade crossover is not holding turbo, but the explosive move is holding turbo. If you hold turbo too fast when executing the Dwayne Wade crossover, you'll get an escape. So you have to let the crossover mostly complete, then hit turbo and go into the pro dribble style size up, right? So now imagine if a character has a really good escape, you have to be on and off of this turbo move when you're setting up these combos for these characters to explode. So now we're gonna talk about coming out of the pro dribble style. And Jokic is great because he kind of covers all of the ground. So number one, coming out of the dribble style, you can just run, right? 
So when you run, this is another aspect of control because you can run in any direction. I can run completely to the left or the right. I can run at an angle or I can circle around to the basket. But when you circle around to the basket, you have to run a little bit wide first and then circle, but just a little bit wide. You don't have to go like crazy with it. Um, you just go a little wide and now you're back downhill, right? So you can go across, diagonal, and pretty much straight downhill with the dribble style and attacking. Now, when you're doing those things, different options are available to you, right? So option number one, I mean, I'm this arbitrary listing, which is going down the list, right? So if I go to the side, I have access to my floater. And in the case of, I mean, not my floater, my leaner. And in the case of Jokic, it's fantastic, right? He has one of the best uh, in the game. I, I absolutely love it for this character and literally, and I'm not endorsing this because this is unethical buckets, but literally just doing this to people online and then doing that is enough to break them. And when I say doing that works, I've seen it work at virtually every level. <laughs> Even in pro-am tournaments, I've seen people get cooked by one, two leaner or one, two, three leaner. It's a sad thing in a way because it looks pretty cheesy. It looks pretty bad, but it does work. And this is a tutorial, so I'm not going to ignore what works. OK, so that's going straight to the side. Uh, going to the basket, you're getting right to your stick dunks with characters who have access to those things. Uh, you see nice big meter for Jokic, and he's he's a tall character, so that's good. But also with a guy like Jokic, he has this straight up and down floater that you can get to. So this makes him a much more effective character than if you don't know how to use this because he has access to all of these great moves. And just a little footnote with Jokic, he also has this fantastic step back, which just absolutely like he really has access to pretty much everything and mind you you can also do that into other dribble moves so you can do that into a hot back now Jokic doesn't have the best hot back in the game which will move us on to anthony edwards now anthony edwards is not regarded as a particularly strong card in the my team community but he is exceptional when it comes to sigs and going to the basket so you'll see here escape into that fantastic right escape into the pro dribble style crossover and again you know and same thing hezzy into pro dribble style crossover and you can get to his step backs and his stick dunks immediately after that very fast character uh very strong move in his hands and his leaner is not bad either i think already with just that you get a lot more use out of the card than you normally would but anthony edwards he also has a good hop back right and a good drag back so you can pro dribble style hop back you know, Hezzy, go back the same direction. You can pro dribble style, hop back, snatch back, you know, uh, I actually <laughs> accidentally hit square there. Let's try it again. Uh, you can, you know, pro dribble style, hop back, snatch back, go the other way. Like, really, and you can pro dribble style back in the other direction, right? That pro dribble backwards cross in the other direction. So another example of if a card has certain sigs, a great escape into the pro dribble style, a great snatch, uh, you can actually snatch into the pro escape as well but you see the shoulders see those shoulders aligning to the side this changes the direction that you have to hold in his case it's 11 and 2 o'clock and you also have to do it at a certain time because the shoulders are constantly moving you do it too early you might get a push cross or a slow move uh, you do it too late same thing might get a push cross or a slow move or the direction might change but yeah that drag back into that explosion forward you know considering that drag back can go into other things and those things can go into the pro dribble style and you can really quickly see how you know these things can be put together to put together a nice uh a nice bag of moves quite frankly for any card to uh to really get loose with i'll give you guys another example so this is a card i'm really the more i use them the more i like them paul george when i first got a hold of paul george he had so few park sigs that i didn't know what to do with him now paul george doesn't have a lot going for him right he's got it you know that rotten escape that's terrible uh his between the legs is good and so it's like the between the legs into pro okay that's great this is his between the legs escape all right so that's something and then i look at his uh that's awesome right his his double throw move and then also his aggressive uh so that's his aggressive you know uh you know attacking cross and that also goes into the pro dribble move so now I can get a lot more use out of this Paul George as a primary ball handler with the pro escape with an understanding of how those moves combo into um, that pro dribble uh, backwards cross explosion. I don't know what to call it, but that, you know, that pro dribble style crossover. So, yeah. So that is the basics of how you get into the pro dribble style, how you get how you literally go into the move to set people up and how you come out of the move to score uh, that 
pretty much covers the ground of why it's an excellent dribble style and hopefully after watching this video you can look in your card collection and some of these cards that you might have thought were mid or not good you can get much more out of them uh, because of that dribble style and just a little footnote here Paul George so he's got this great uh between the legs so you combine that between the legs with his double throw adds a lot more to the card than normally at face value because for me I was struggling to move with him he was great defender great release but now with the you know figuring out how to get that pro dribble style moving with a lot of the other stuff he's doing now I really feel like a lot more potential with the character um so yeah so that covers it for the pro dribble style guys i hope this helped you all out and before i go i have to express my overwhelming gratitude for the support you've shown the channel in such a short time uh we're growing very quickly i did not expect this very 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 much appreciate it and it just inspires me to make more and more content for the community to help you all out so i will see you in the next one peace